I was born in 1932. It was Poland. It was called, well, in Polish it Lwów, in uh, English or European language Lwów. What do you remember about what happened when the Nazis well, arrived? When they arrived, the Nazis arrived, I'm very, very, uh, it's very hard for me to say that the Ukrainians started persecuting the Jews. I feel sad saying it because of what's happening now to Ukrainians. They started persecuting them and they killed 4,000 of them. And they were quite very unpleasant mm. to the Jews. Mm. Were you aware as a child that this was all going on around you? At that time, yes, because what was happening very soon, maybe within two, three weeks, the Nazis, the Germans started rounding up the Jews. Mm. When my father came running in and he said, uh, the Germans are after me. Mm. And he jumped to hide, not to be taken away. He jumped from our second floor balcony onto the first floor balcony and hid underneath. And I was there. You must have been terrified. Uh, absolutely terrified. They started banging at our door and my mother had to let them in and they didn't find my father, so they left. So I asked my mother, why do they want my father? And my mother said, it's because we are Jewish. And tell me what happened after that. So my parents dug a hole under the wardrobe, and when we heard the Gestapo coming, my mother, my brother and I, we hid in that hole under the wardrobe but there was no room for my father and my grandmother. And they hid in the attic of that little house. The Gestapo found them. I don't know what they did to my grandmother. I remember her screaming. I'm sure they threw her down the ladder. They were very cruel. And... Uh, they didn't find us hiding in the hole mm. under the wardrobe. Mm. So you and your mother and your siblings made it out, but your father didn't? My father was hiding in, in uh, the loft, in the attic, but because there was no room mm. for that hole. And uh, so when they left, after a while, I asked my mother what happened to my father and my grandmother. And my mother said they were shot. And they were shooting all the Jews. At first, before even they were deporting them, they started deporting them because they found that the Nazi soldiers found it too difficult to shot, to shoot children. So because of that, they found it easier to gas them. So how important is it to have a day like this to remember everything that happened and, and to remind us of that pledge never again? It's very important to remember that's why I want to carry on speaking. People should know the, what happens when a group of people lose their humanity. And how do you feel when you see refugees today fleeing from multiple conflicts? Since the Holocaust, we've seen what happened in Rwanda, in Bosnia, in so many other places. How do you feel about that? I feel very, very sorry for them. I understand them. I would like the countries to be kinder to refugees, to be more helpful, because we should be kind to each other. We are all human beings. 
We need each other. Well, Janine, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story with us. Thank you.